never seen you without your glasses on. Was I supposed to press that yet? Oh, uh, I don't care. Do you have your phone so you can look at the chat? I can, yeah. Okay. That was the plan, Stan. Hi, guys. What's up? Becky's finally here. Like, she lives here, but I'm just saying finally yeah. here. Yeah. My hair is flat looking. I look crazy. So, hi you guys. Um, Becky's gonna be hopefully talking to you guys a lot today. I've been having like a little bit of anxiety about live streams lately. And I try like really hard to like tune that in during live streams. Okay. Yes. What? what? Where do they pull out such random numbers? I don't know. Anyway. But hello, you guys. Um, oh, hey, my blood pressure's up. Look at that. So, wait. So, you gonna talk shit about Becky to her face or only when she's not there? That wasn't me talking shit. Um, can you turn that down? Oh. You can legit hear me. Jessica, welcome to Stream Queens. Um, you know, it's just reality is what I said. <laughs> reality is what I said. Yeah. I'll put that on a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. And I will be um uploading a video just patience you know yeah i'm excited for that good things take time i am excited for that i'm gonna be your number one subscriber and your number one stan are you You're ready for stan? it i stand you, you better Becky. watch out wifey's gonna uh, <coughs> be upset about that oh wait i have to say something <coughs> obviously okay. come here Becky. um come yeah mm. Opinion on Nick Okato shading you or are you two friends? Um, no, we're not friends and I don't really care that she's shading me. Oh, she. <laughs> I read someone that said, she, sorry. Okay. Whew. I'm flustered. Let's be real. I don't care that he is shading me. I mean, it is what it is. Like, really. I mean, I'm just hoping it's all fun and games and he doesn't actually hate me because I literally did nothing. So... Um, are you going to read any? I'm getting anxious. Yeah, I am reading. Eh. Wait, is the live only five minutes? <laughs> no, that's just another inside joke. It's just funny. It's just funny to name these like random. Because I never knew what to name them before. Like I would just be like, okay, Tuesday live stream, Thursday live stream. So you gotta be creative, you know? Yeah. I know you're creative. Thanks. My husband, so are you. Leon, told me he is leaving today. I'm not sure whether to take you seriously or not because I think you're trying to be a character from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. But I am sorry if your husband is really leaving you today. I'm sorry. Me too. Even if it is just a character thing, that sucks. Um, what is one positive, positive thing you did for yourself today? Um, well, speaking of positive, I weighed myself again today and I'm just like losing weight. I am like doing this thing. I don't even understand. Ain't I, Becky? Mm -hmm. I'm like so She's proud of myself. exercises and everything. I am like so beyond proud of myself. I just can't even put it into words. It's because I have like the, su like support. Like I have someone who's like, this isn't shade against Becky, but I like have someone in my corner that's like a different type of like motivation. I don't know how well, to see, explain here's it. The thing, this person is already fit and healthy and whatnot, and here I am struggling myself. So, how was I supposed to help you in those ways? Yeah, when I can't even help myself in those ways. Right. Which I'm working on it. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. 
Um, but I guess a positive thing that I did today was, um, well, I'm going to do my exercises tonight. I like the, I like to do them at night, like before bed. Cause I feel like maybe it like, it makes me a little tired. Like I have trouble falling asleep. Everyone knows that. Um, so that's going to be a positive thing that I do for myself. And obviously like I'm not overeating. I'm trying to pay a lot of attention to like my portions being less um and stuff like that you know i have goals and i want to succeed in those goals so yeah <sighs> becky i love the shirt someone said oh thank you i'm just confused about this one up here I don't know if that means. I know. I tried to read that in my head. I was like, I can't. I'm not reading that out loud. I can't. I think I know it. what they're trying to say, but I just think they're pulling crap out of their butt. Yeah. For sure. So you lose weight for a random girl, but not yourself. No. Like, she literally is making me see things differently. Just the way that she, like, speaks to me about it all. Like, I really do need to take care of myself and love myself. Hey, when are you eating the spicy ramen? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Mm, I actually might do a video for that because I feel like I want to start posting, like, videos, too. Um, they're just going to be, like, low-key. I'm thinking maybe, like, weigh-in moments and, I don't know, just random things. I could do the spicy ramen. Yeah. Jessica. So. Becky, are you happy with your decision of leaving Amber? Do you both feel at peace in any way? absolutely we do um mm -hmm. you know whenever i first broke up with amberlyn of course she was super upset and sad and a little bit salty let's be honest <laughs> hold on a minute salty how <laughs> i don't know mm -hmm. you were just very like what did what did i do i don't know i mean of course i was hurt I felt like i felt a little shade here and there you know Oh, the tea of course, is you're the shady thin. queen. No, I'm kidding. Not all the time. Mm. But sometimes, like, I don't know. I could tell you would be like, you would make some sort of remark about me breaking up with you and breaking your heart. <laughs> but now I feel you're in such a better place. Someone said that was a whole. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Someone said that was a whole. A whole Hootenberry? No, a whole salt mine. <laughs> Yeah. No, oh, yeah. yeah, for real, it was. I mean, obviously, like, I was hurt. Like, I thought we were getting married, and, like, I was just so used to, like, our relationship that I thought I couldn't live without it, and I realized that what I can't live without is Becky as my best friend, not Becky as my partner in that way. Like, we just... I don't know. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Becky's my best friend, and I love her very much. So. Y'all got any fun weekend plans? Love you guys. Do we? Um, I do. Yeah, Becky does. This is, like, the first weekend where I really don't have any plans at all. Yeah, we've actually spent um, every weekend together. Yeah. The past few weekends. Like, we've been hanging out so much. Like, we get along so much better as friends. It's the craziest thing I've seen. We hardly fight. If ever. I don't think we I do. think we might get a little snippy, but who doesn't, you know? Like, yeah, it's just been really good. I don't know. Becky, do you know where you're moving? Not precisely, but I am going to be moving closer to home. So... Mm -hmm. Oh, I let my phone go off. Um, Faith, what's funny? <laughs> that was just an old comment. Oh, okay. So favorite color, favorite meme, favorite exercise, and favorite cat breed. So my favorite color is emerald green. What about you? Mine? Seafoam green. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I really like seafoam green, but yeah. Ooh, has it changed? I'm really digging green, period. Green is such a beautiful yeah. color. For okay, sure. everybody's gonna literally give me so much crap for this. And I really don't care. I love the carpet 
where it kind of looks like throw up. Oh, that's disgust. The green with a little bit of yellow and the, I don't know, it's just very vintage, very nostalgic, very, mm -mm. I don't know, reminds me of my aunt's house. I like it. I dig it. What's your favorite meme? Mine. So could that be a TikTok or could, like, can it be anything like a GIF or? Uh, there's the one that sticks in my head all the time. Davinci stays in my head all the time. <gasps> Davinci. Davinci. Okay, mine is a Vine. I'm washing me and my clothes. <laughs> Hold on. She said I'm washing me and my clothes. You guys, I could watch that over and over. <laughs> she said I'm washing me and my clothes. Yeah, that one. Favorite exercise dance. I like to do um, chin-ups. <laughs> I'm leaving this planet. I'm going to Pluto. I'm coming with you. Okay. Um, she said chin-ups. Oh, my God. Twinkie's favorites is push-ups. Is there a way to make your face not as round? Because I need to is do that. Is there a way to make your face not as red because your blood pressure is up? Have you been taking your medicine? Uh, I think I might have forgot today. Oh, no. But um, there's this part of SpongeBob that has been stuck in my head. It's whenever he and Patrick are fighting over Squidward. And it's like, Squidward is my best friend in the world. That whole part. I love that part. And it love stays in my head 24-7. That and Da Vinci. Oh, she gets terrified every time we're on live stream, live stream. And I can't figure out why. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, favorite cat breed. Um, Persian. I like the weird flat faced ones. They're cute and ugly and cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Munchkin cats. Those are my favorite. The really, really short ones, like that have like really short legs or like, yeah, for sure those. Where are you? Um, what do you mean? In the chat? Just read whatever. Um, Becky, Ready. what are your plans after leaving Amber? Any goals? Still planning on staying single? If not, let me know. I'm trying to be future Mrs. Williams. I plan on being single for a very long time. You heard it here, folks. And I'm single too, so don't be trying to... Kiddo. Okay, so hmm, wifey texted me and said, favorite catchphrase, I'm leaving this planet. Because <laughs> I am. I'm going to Pluto. And I heard you can't breathe there, but we'll make it work, I promise. Okay. Um, where did I leave off? You told Becky she should feel like utter crap. I did. I did say that. Okay. Um. Is that the salt mine we're talking about that I was part what? of? What? You what were there. Happened? Becky, you were literally there in the live stream when I said you should feel like oh, this is a looking I'm crazy. I'm feeling very brand new about her right now. <laughs> She's feeling brand new. She said, no. Yeah, that we're cool. It's fine. Pillow Mountain. Um, yeah, I did say that because she hurt me and she proposed to me a few months before breaking up with me. She should have felt like crap. That's how I felt. Like, when you get broken up with, like, you go through, like, the heartbreak, the mourning, the grieving, the anger, you know? And I guess that was part of me being angry. I said, she should feel like utter crap. That's how I was feeling in the moment. Um, do I feel that way now? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you're in a relationship and you, you're not vibing and all that stuff, you have every right to be like, peace out, I can't do this. Um, so, yes, I will apologize to Becky because apparently she doesn't remember me saying that. So, yeah. Um, Kay, welcome to Stream Queens. Um, I'd love to meet you two one day. Oh, Glitzy Glam, that'd be so cool. Would you ever hook up with an ex? Um... 
it depends on what X we're talking because I can't think of a single X right now that I would touch like that with a 10 foot pole. So I'm going to say no. At the end of the day, as long as you guys have each other, that's all that matters. You guys have my love and support. Amber, you help me follow my heart. Becky, you help me learn. I stand my ground. Thank you. That's super sweet. Um, y'all see each other as best friends. Why or why not? Yes, we do. Because it's like this unconditional love, but it's like not at all like relationship type. Like, I don't know. Talking to this girl has just made me realize like that's how you're supposed to feel when, um, you like someone a lot. So... Yeah, I didn't feel that with Becky, and me and Becky have talked a lot about it recently, and we realized that we never had that. And I'm getting emotional, sorry, I don't want to, like, get emotional, but um, we did talk about it last night where we admitted to each other that uh, we never had, like, that spark. <sighs> wow, you guys are, like, learning, like, the actual tea, and that's totally fine, but... Can you guys do impressions of each other? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Becky, you go first. Oh, God. Uh, you have to sit over here and do it. Do I have to? Dur, dur, dur. Yes. Um, someone said, who needs oxygen anyways? I mean, same. What kind of a question is that, Amber? Have you ever had a black friend? If not, why? Yes, of course I have. Wow, that's a weird question. That is question. like a really weird question. That's like asking, have you ever had a white friend or a... I don't, like, I don't like that question. That's fucked up. Oh, that's weird. You wouldn't touch Becky with a 10-foot pole. That's a bit rough, isn't it? No, I meant like sexually. I'm good Whoa. at that. <laughs> I wouldn't touch you sexually with a 10-foot pole. Why? What? Why? Why wouldn't I touch you sexually? Yeah. Wait, is this really happening? Yeah, right now. I am leaving this planet. No, you gotta tell me. You gotta tell me. Because we're not together. <laughs> okay, I mean, it really sounds like, Becky, no offense. No. But you're ugly, girl. Oh my God. Oh my God. This live stream, I'm deleting it, so. No, you ain't. I am deleting this live stream. Why? No. Um, it's because I'm talking to someone else. Yeah. And they're the only one I want to touch. And I know this person. Yeah. Sort of. And well, I, I like this person, sort of. Yeah. I don't look at it as Amberlynn is moving on already. What do you look at? look at it as... We should have been broke up a long time ago. <laughs> this is the craziest. This is the craziest live stream. No, girl, you crazy. Wait, okay, so why do you why do you say that? I'd love to know. This is not happening, Twinkie. No. Well, I'd love to actually you can tell me after live stream. We're not it's we're not having those. Awesome. You don't okay. You don't need a treat. Um no. oh yeah, do the impression of me. Hmm. I hate my side profile. Like, I hate my side profile. Like, wait, let me see yours. Let me see yours. Wait, yours is good. Wait, yours is good. <laughs> <laughs> this live stream is a mess. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, your favorite thing about Becky and vice versa. Child. Okay, fine, but you're not getting any more. Okay, for the my rest favorite of the night. thing about Becky is Let's she's go. genuinely a Let's good person. Like, um, yeah, she's just like a good person, and she treats people very kindly, um, whether it be strangers, friends, family. It's just a good person. Um, welcome to Stream Queens Fun Dip. If you got another pet. What would you like to get and what would you name it? I want a hedgehog. Want really a bad. 
or a sugar glider either one because hi um the name though i don't know i want a dog and i want to name it boosh mm. i thought you wanted a dog and named it tough that is if it was a blue pit right blue pits are kind of expensive um yeah so either yeah that's my answer let's see you hardly know francis you're putting yourself in danger that's not her name that's just something something um but no i disagree um we facetime like all day every day and there's things that she's told me that I don't think a troll would tell someone. No, I wholeheartedly believe this is not a troll. This is not like... I, I do want to say something. I want to address something after you're done. Go for it. Um, Dusty said at 8.44, which was a long time ago. Uh, Becky, can you tell us why your reactions were slow during Christmas? Was it because of your diabetes? Oh, I already answered that question while you're up oh, there, okay. but you can like answer it as your own. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't have uh, blood sugar issues back then. Um, the blood sugar issues was kind of a very sudden thing, which is kind of scary, but I am going to the doctor on August 12th to get some tests. So, um, the, the lighting looks weird. reason I was really slow during Christmas time, and this was 2019, not 2020, was because I was on so many medicines for, um, depression, anxiety, uh, they misdiagnosed me with bipolar type 2, so I was on medicine And I'm not that. trying to toot my horn here. Dude, dude. We know what they're gonna say, Amberlynn. You're a narcissist, but I knew she didn't have bipolar. No, yeah, she. Told I me that. knew it. I was like, you were diagnosed wrong, like you just were. I was actually diagnosed with um major depress depression, depressive. I don't know. Um, but Amberlynn finally got to the point. I was on like five or six different medicines. I would not respond to nothing. Literally, Eric, Ricky, Amberlynn, a whole bunch of friends over playing Jackbox games. And I'm just sitting there staring in, into nothingness. Yeah. There were times I didn't know where I was or who I was or if I even existed. There were, there were moments where it was just like I was on autopilot. Like there was nobody here. <clears throat> hmm. And finally, it got to where... Um, I was losing a bunch of weight, and then that's whenever the kidney problems happen, and then the diabetes happen, um, but all that other stuff happened before that. Right. But all of it together made it to where I couldn't function, and Amberlynn got to the point where she was like, you are going to go back to the doctor, and we are going to pull you off of everything and start over. Or I don't know what to do. So I went to the doctor. And she took me off of everything. And she was like, okay, let's try Zoloft. And here I am. Zoloft, 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 Zoloft. Yeah, I I'm a big Zoloft supporter. I love that for you. Like, literally, when you find the right medicine, it yeah. is so... Like, Lamictal... <laughs> Yeah, before I was on Lamictal, bipolar, like, ask Becky. Like, it was so bad. My highs were like, hi, I'm actually in Pluto. And my lows were like, I have discovered the bottom of the ocean that no one's ever been to. Like, that's how, like. It's like, here Here was Amberlynn's <sighs> highs. She wanted oh, great. to go shopping every day. And she wanted to go on road trips. And she wanted to hang out with all of her friends. And she wanted to just conquer the entire world and then whenever her lows hit amberlynn didn't want to leave the house amberlynn didn't want to do anything 
Yeah, let's not go into detail, but um That wasn't detail. I I felt like I wanted to die. I really did. Yeah, it was rough. Um and I don't feel that way anymore because Lamictal helps so freaking much. It is like I I'm just very grateful for it, honestly. Um and I was actually talking to wifey. <laughs> it's funny to call her that. I don't know why. Um, and I was like explaining to her, like, I feel like I'm numb on Lamictal and she like totally made me see it differently. I think I just finally feel normal emotions. And for so long, I was used to the super high highs and the low lows that like, that's what I was used to for so many years. It's not even funny. So yeah, I just thought I was like, oh, I was like, that makes sense. I like finally feel normal. So I'm not used to the feeling of that, so. Um. <laughs> you oh good? God, Help me, Jesus Christ. And my best friend's neighbor's fish is watching. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, where does it say that? My oh, I found it. My best friend's neighbor's fish is watching. Hi, fishy fish. I love that for you. I hope oh you're enjoying. God. That was funny. Becky seems like an awesome person. Hundred percent. Becky is a queen. She deserves better. Hundred percent. Her own type of better. Amber is that girl at sleepover that FaceTime someone else the entire time. <laughs> Wait. Did someone say that? Yes, they did. Y'all, yeah. yes. Celine, thank when, you. When I'm at Eric and Ricky's house, <laughs> like once it's nighttime, I'll go. Well, once they're sleeping, I'll go and I'll FaceTime. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay. Your best memory from when you two were together. I love this question. Do you want to go first? Mm. Um, that's my pillow thing. Wait, I want to use it. Bro. No, get your own. I had it first. Um. <laughs> okay, go. God, there's so many though. Um, <laughs> we're like drawing. I'm like, I love that person. I'm gonna say my favorite memory is when <laughs> when we first met. Well, I have my favorite memory, but I don't want to say it out loud because it's really special. I don't. What? It's not like anything gross or anything, but it's like. <laughs> gross! I don't know. It's just something that's between me and so you. So it's not sexual, is what you're trying no. to say. No. Okay. Um, what is it? Just mouth it to me. Like, cover your mouth because I'm curious. I feel like they can hear. Damn it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Am, I'm a very loud Those are great. Okay. Those are great. <clears throat> um, yes, you did. Um, to that one. No, I couldn't imagine becoming a nun, Nicole. Happy birthday, Kay, from Ren. And me. And Becky. And wifey. <laughs> you guys are going to hate me. Okay. I have been a member since June 15th and you haven't answered a single chat of mine. This is so disappointing. I'm not even rude and you always skip over my chats. I want to apologize to anyone like that that happens to. It's physically impossible for us to answer every single one. So that makes me sad because I wish it was possible because I do feel bad that people are paying to talk to me. Um, and I can't read it all. So, I do apologize. Trying to answer every question or message, we would just be constantly. Yeah. Anything you want to do now that you're vaccinated? I literally go to the store now. <laughs> well, you guys, I went through, like, a really, like, a phase where I was scared to leave the house because of COVID. But I actually leave, the, leave to go to the store. I see my friends. Um, so that's been really nice. I'm just very sad that like a lot of people who are close to me won't get vaccinated. And I feel 
super freaking annoying because I'm constantly telling them that they should. And I try to give them the knowledge that I have um, regarding it. And it's just not working. So what do I do? Like, I don't know. Like, I love the people who are close to me, but it's like, do you love yourself enough to get vaccinated? Or do you love the people around you enough to get vaccinated? Like, you have to really... Yes, you can still get COVID being vaccinated. But the thing is, you're not going to get us sick. Um, I don't know. Have you ever slathered each other in guacamole? Yeah. How did you know we did that? We, we, we do that like every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Especially Tuesdays. That's taco night. You know I'm leaving like this tacos. planet. Um, how do you know you two didn't have a spark? Have you felt a spark before? Um, yeah. I have. Um, I really want to watch Becky's journey when she moves. I agree. I can't wait for that journey. Yeah. Can you tell us, can you tell, can you each tell each other a time when you upset each other? That's Where a lot of eaches. <laughs> God, it's a four-year relationship. Leaving. Where do you start? Yeah. Where do you start? A time that you really upset me. Ooh, I want to go in. I'm trying to think. How come I'm drawing complete blanks of our whole relationship? Are like you I feeling the too. same? <laughs> what the heck? I really am too. I don't know. It's, oh, it's just like, this girl, she shared my deepest, darkest secret. Don't say anything. You went and fabricated she, some stuff. She shared my deepest, somebody. darkest secret to our friends, to her family, and I felt so destroyed. I got caught in it, and I had no choice. Okay. I was shook because I trusted her with that. Like, and she, yeah, I, that's probably one of the biggest times that I was upset. Like, for sure. Well, then there was that one time we were in a fight with uh, some other people that we know. I'm not going to say who. But these people in Berlin were going back and forth and having this whole conversation. And this girl goes and tells these people something that didn't even happen. I don't even remember what it was. But this one. <laughs> she, likes, she likes to assume things sometimes. Wait, what? And it's fact. Wifey has talked to you about this. It's fact. You'll assume something, and to you, it is fact. Because oh. you think there's all the proof right here. Right. And then it turns out, no, in fact, that's not it. Like YouTube. What? How they fabricate our lives. They'll oh, yeah, take, yeah. They'll take the smallest little bit of context, even something that has yeah. no context, and make a whole thing out of it. You... When you get paranoid and you have your little trust issues and stuff, you do that. Right. Yeah. Okay. I see that. I am bad with that. I have really bad trust so issues. That, that was a pretty intense fight that time. Because <sighs> <clears throat> you had your info wrong. Right. What will you miss most about living together? Just living with your best friend is so fun because like last night we talked forever and I was oh telling my her gosh. I was you telling her all kinds mood. of all kinds of tea mm -hmm. and like just things about things and people and she was doing the same yeah. it's just good to be able to like have someone to talk to like you know yeah and it's like now that we're not in a relationship anymore this is going to sound so crazy I feel like I can be more honest with you same you know same i feel like we're so like relieved like we're just not meant to be together no. becky's not a bad girlfriend she's a good girlfriend and same with me i'm yeah. just gonna be honest somebody uh made a comment that was like it took you all four years to realize this the thing is those were a pretty good four years it's not like know? they were bad yeah we've just thought that we loved each other in a certain way that we didn't. It's because we loved each other so much as best friends. And I know I keep saying that, but that's literally that happens and that happened to us. But I also look at it this way, you know, had I not got with you and stayed with you, 
where would have my life went? It wouldn't be like this, mm. you know? So. Like, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. You, you experience things in life, and that's the point of living is you live and you learn. Yeah. So, it's not, oh, why didn't, you know, you should have figured this out four years ago. It's, these four years were supposed to happen. I was, yeah, completely agree. I do. Oh, I love that. Okay. So, it never crosses either of your minds that something could happen when you sleep together at night. What do you mean something? What does that mean? Like an intruder? Oh, wait, I'm lost. Wait, that's do you mean- a whole ass picture of destiny. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Do you mean something sexual? Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's not like that, I promise. Um, you honestly can't be mad at people hating you for being upset for your past choices. I don't want to hate you. I don't. Just try. Okay, fair enough. Just because someone buys a super chat, it doesn't obligate Amber and Becky to answer if the super chat is rude or expects them to apologize for something they already explained. I agree. Yeah. Expecting apologies for something that you've already apologized for um, and wanting us to say horrible things out loud. I'm, yeah. I don't want to. So thanks for the, you know, two or three bucks that you send. Yeah. Especially to JH, whoever you are. Sending $3 every time just to say something negative. What's your favorite Lynn? Smug Lynn? Liar Lynn? Therapist Lynn? Dr. Lynn? Medicine Woman? <sighs> Dr. Lynn? Medicine Woman? No! It is Space Lynn and Sex Lynn. <laughs> Space Becky, Sex Lynn? Becky has no idea what I'm talking about. I know. That's fine. Um, Becky, are you flirting with some ladies too? Wait, what? Are you flirting? Who, me? Yeah. With who? Anyone. Messages. No. Okay. No. I don't even think I really know how to flirt, but I'm not trying to, so. Wait, what? So you're not a charmer? Who, me? I fucking love a charmer. Absolutely Ugh. not. No. Like, charm me and... Oh, look. Who's in it? Who do you think? Why? Why? Why is there? I no haven't saved. I haven't saved the number in this phone. Oh, that's sweet though, right? Okay. That is sweet. Living, living for it. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> Me flirting. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, charming people. So you don't think that you're like a charmer? No. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> you're not. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Whenever I have a connection with someone it's just there it's not like i'm purposely oh let me throw in the charm and you know try to sway them over to me i get what you're saying to an extent or whatever you know it's just i don't i don't know i feel awkward yeah you know so My phone's glitching. Uh, Becky, you are so funny. I can't wait to can't wait to subscribe to your channel when you make one. Yes, I do have a channel. Um, what is it? Captain Gaybeard. Captain Gaybeard. Yeah, I've already got people <laughs> making fun of it, but it's like I made that account a long time ago, and it was purely just. For me to watch YouTube videos, so. Yeah. And I'm not really bothered with the name anyway, so. Okay, you spent years telling people they were haters and lies for saying you and Becky didn't have romantic chemistry and yet they were right. Will you apologize for gaslighting us? No. There's because no that's apology. no one's business. It is, no, it is no one's business. And who cares if you don't think we have romantic chemistry? We have love. Mm -hmm. That's what we had. Yeah. Yeah. Becky, you're hot AF. Dump the zero and get with a hero. I can smell a troll. <laughs> All these people. That's not true. Because Becky, 
you can Becky, be my dog's mom. I appreciate it, but Becky, uh, no. I thought wifey was a troll mm. for a long time. Okay, and she knows that. I'm not sitting here saying so, like I have like low self esteem issues or anything, but I see the faces of the people that say those things to me, and I'm just like. Who is in more debt and who is worse with money? Do you think you're in more debt? What is that? Are you okay? Yeah, no. Oh. I just this um, name keeps popping up and they keep saying, oh, why are you ignoring me? Ignore me blah, blah, blah. But I literally can't see anything that they've said. Oh, no. Regarding who is in more debt, I don't think I have an answer for that. The only debt I have is like, really old doctor bills they fall off after seven years but mm, yeah i, don't I do know. have some doctor bills i have bills from my foot problem whenever i broke it sprained it whatever and i had to be out of work yeah i'm getting bills for that but i won the case I, well settled she out. freaking sued i can't i've never i had to man never thought of suing someone in my life she sued <laughs> literally i won. sued and won <sighs> because this dude i was not the first person to fall in that parking lot i know because i know people who has fell in the parking lot before if there if i had been an old person i don't think they would have ever recovered from that because I barely recovered from that. It took me like six weeks. Yeah. But whenever I got the settlement and everything, they're like, okay, we took out this much money for all your bills. And here you go. Here's the rest. Mm -hmm. So why am I still getting bills? Mm -hmm. No, it don't make sense is what it, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Um, okay. Where was I? Oh, worse with money. Oh, by the way, um, in 10 days, 12 days, 10, no, math, wait, 16 days, sorry, I am down like, how much, like 26 pounds? Mm, math yeah so i just felt like randomly saying that because i'm like shook 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 okay worse with money i'm just gonna say me no <sighs> but it's not true. no lately it's been you you're worse with money sure and the only reason why i was gonna say me is because anyone who spends thousands of dollars on earrings you have an issue but I always pay my bills first. Like, I'm very responsible with my money, so it's not like I'm, like, you know. Hey. This lighting's making my face look weird. You really need to address this person because people are freaking out. I don't know, Becky. Okay, GIF. The first letters of your name is G-I-F. I am not going to try to pronounce the rest of that. I We never said your super chat was rude. I don't understand what you asked like what are we ignoring uh i just asked if she could see me yeah we can see your comments i just don't know what all you've said literally we are not trying to skip comments you ever watch anime who us yeah i uh i prefer reading manga i love me a comic book i love me a graphic novel Super nerdy of me, but I, I, you know, I can be down with the nerds for sure. But, um, oh, oh, sorry. I don't watch anime. I don't. I just, I can't get into it. Becky, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Yeah, I just saw that. Oh, okay. Do you have a goal weight? What's your timeline? I want to lose 100 pounds in total before the year is up. That sounds so crazy. I don't know. Am I going to be able to do it? Probably not. No, actually, I am going to do it. I will do it, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. 
no one's stopping me but myself and I'm not gonna stop myself so I'm gonna do it why does my face look weird colored it's like golden and like shiny that's not what my face looks like in real life what's going on okay um ash welcome to stream queens moonlight said hi becky i hope you're doing okay it's nice to see you again does wifey have a job yes <laughs> hello she's nice so smart you oh my god she's so smart i love what she does for a job it's just like i don't know something about i don't know i'm not gonna sit here and like gush it's just stupid it's stupid to gush okay um that sam lynn girl uh message me again because i can't find you i'll make becky my wifey i just came out as bi that's awesome i am so proud of you ah I'm going to come out as pansexual, I think. I've thought about it. Do you really feel that way? <sighs> no and yes. We're about to be real. It's, it's confusing. It's, I feel like we've had this conversation recently. I, uh, I will not have sex with a guy. Absolutely not. Never going to happen. Do not like you sexually. Like, puke. But could I romantically like fall in love with a guy? I mean, maybe not, but could I have a crush on a guy? It's possible. That is a whole thing. Like, uh, it's confusing and it's weird and it is a thing. What is it called? Uh, like there's like, isn't it like bi romantic, a romantic, heterosexual, there's like, um, you know, homo romantic, but bisexual. they would have to be very special. Because even thinking about it, I'm like, ugh. But, um, I feel like it's not impossible for me to have, like, a crush on a guy. But nothing more than that. Like, I don't think I'd fall in love. I definitely wouldn't have sex. Absolutely not. Like, I like the pussy. <laughs> I was just going to go on. Like, okay. Anyways. Psst. Amber, stop manipulating my wife. Becky is mine. Go get it, boo-boo. That is disgusting. Can you, can you like, walk them a message or, like, something? What? <laughs> you could have easily lost 30 pounds this month. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Was I Crystal's caregiver? No. Like, what does that even mean? Have you ever tried belly dancing or Zumba? <laughs> Me belly dancing. That's a that's a hootenberry for sure. Um, Zumba, yes, I love Zumba. Becky, hit me up if you ever need a boo. Love that. I want to be my own boo for a bit. You know. Aww. Would you ever consider trying LSD? What is that really? Like, I know what it is. It's a drug, duh. But like, what does it do? I think I would try a shroom. I have tried acid. <gasps> That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh my God. I blocked it from my memory. You guys, you want to talk about a Bless bad girlfriend? That's what it is. There it is. Oh, that was the worst thing I did? <sighs> she, oh my God. She, I know to a lot of people, this is probably not a big deal, but she literally lied to me and I didn't find out until after we broke up that she did acid. I did. <sighs> Recently, first of all, illegal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was at the beginning um, of this year. It's not that recent. That's recent. That was like after the proposal and I, was with, I was with two people who i knew my whole life and they took very good care of me i was if you're going to ever do it don't do it with people you don't know or trust make sure you're with people that you love and trust that's it can you guys believe that she lied to me like that how do you keep i am like the most like i don't know what it is but i can't i can't lie to people i physically can't do 
It's that because of guilt. That is literally the only thing I've ever kept from you. Like, my guilt is like, no bueno. I've never kept anything from you besides that one, <laughs> that one thing. Mm -hmm. Remember the, remember that was meant to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I would do me a shroom. Would I do LSD? I don't even really understand what that is. I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm late to the game. Give me a ketchup. Hootenberry kind of day. <laughs> oh my God, I love it's a it. Hootenberry. Hoot uh, you have Ricky and Eric saying that constantly. Oh my gosh. I need to come up with a new word for sure because Hootenberry love it, but we need to add more flavor. Okay. Um, give me a ketchup. We're spilling a lot of tea, apparently. So, would you ever try cornrows? No, I would not. No, I don't think it would look right on me. Cornrows. I don't think I could pull it off either. <clears throat> I really think, like, um, I really like dreadlocks, like, Like, <laughs> mm. God, no, what is his name? From uh, Rage Against the Machine? No, yeah. Oh, no, I like thick dreadlocks. Sore. I think those are cute. Oh my God, dreadlocks are. Oh. I seen this one girl today. Whew. You didn't Hot. see her. Uh, she was walking down the street. She had like rainbow dreadlocks. They were so pretty. Oh, they were so pretty. that's fire. Yeah, I think, oh my God, dreadlocks. Mm. Stella said, I'll wait for you, Beck, till you're ready to mingle. <laughs> you might have found yourself you are a wife. Already snatched up, girl. Katya said, I'm tripping on DMT right now. Be, be careful, Katya. Whisper. Becky, how was your acid experience? Um, this is how it went. It was candy. So we ate the candy and just sat she around and started to coloring. Me. She lied to me. <laughs> Are you going to say the crayon part? Yes. Oh my God, the crayon part. We're Wait till you music. hear this. We're listening to music, you know, um, we're coloring, having a good time. They said, you know, let's do something creative and something easy. And um, they said they're watching me, and they see the moment whenever I just start to go. And my cousin <laughs> is eating, and they Sorry. said, I looked at them and go, mmm. So I take the crayon that's in my hand and put it in my mouth and start to chew. So they're like, no, Becky, no, you can't do that. They come over there, they take the crayon from me, and they go get me a snack. So I have something to chew on. I have a cue. Then I start coloring on the floor. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I started coloring on the floor. Was it with the crayon? Yeah. I guess they thought that, I guess I thought that the paper was there and it wasn't. So were you too scared to say you were hungry? They said that. Or shy? No, I think that they said that it was more of like, I didn't how, know how to portray during that trip that I was hungry. Okay, so if I ever do because acid, do not bring me any crayons because... Listen, this isn't even half the story. Amberlynn just had questions. Um, I didn't hear about the rest, y'all. I don't know. The rest was kind of uneventful up until the moment where I kind of came out of the really hard trip part. And it was just hallucinogens. Well, not hallucinogens. Why did you tell me any of this? You I really did. betrayed me. You didn't listen. You didn't tell me any of those. We things. decide to watch movies, okay? We watched Howl's Moving Castle, Rugrats in Paris, and I'm not sure Never what the third that. one was. But literally, Howl's Moving Castle and Rugrats in Paris was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. Yeah. The colors, it, it, was, there, it was like trailing behind all the movements. What? It was so cool. And it's like, I knew everything that was going on, mm. you know? You're not completely... I, I, I had it. crayon when I was that far gone. <laughs> I couldn't but, do it. I don't know. Toward the end of it was great. Toward the end of Becky it was Becky doesn't great. think I should do acid either. No. 
Because I don't think if you were to go deep, I don't think you could handle it. I wouldn't. I haven't been deep. And that's just the truth. But I've heard um, stories. Rah. Becky, please be my pet rock's baby mama. What's his name? I want to be a baby mama. If it's got an ugly name, I don't know if I can do it. I can listen to Becky tell stories all day. Not going to lie, me too. I feel like I get tongue tied. That is something I'm really nervous about the um, channel. As I get very tongue tied. You can see. I lose track of thought. Just editing. Quickly. Editing helps. Yeah. A lot. I'm not really good at keeping eye contact with the camera. And that's another thing right. I need to work on. Yeah. You'll get used to it. I still don't even do that, though. Let's be real. Amberlynn would probably cry her whole acid trip away. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know how I'd react. Um, I don't like being not in control of my own body. Like, that terrifies me. Like, terrifies me. What? Um, not being in control of your own body. Like, what if I want to leave the acid trip? I don't have that option. I have to sit there and deal with it. Like, that's the part that's like... That's why you need people there who you love and trust who can help you through that. Bruh. You don't need somebody there you barely know mm -hmm. making you nervous and making things worse, you know? Yeah. ALR can't even pronounce basic words right. Their I name mean, is Ugly true. Squidward. I'll be the Pet Rocks parent. Ugly Squidward. Oh, my God. We can cut, I'll, I'll shorten it to Ugward. Man, we finally caught up. Look at that. Um, yes, I can see your messages. Gifty up. Gifty up. Cobe. Oh. Wow. That was a mouthful. Um, first time, someone said, first time I smoked weed, I had good friends with me. So did I, but I had, I don't know if it was like laced or something, but I was like seeing three of each friend. Like, it was so scary. Like, I think it was laced because I have never felt like that since. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't smoke now, but I'm let, just saying. Let me explain my first weed experience, too. That reminded me. Also, uh, Dr. Now's Sugar Baby, um, thank you. Uh, I was with an ex-girlfriend who had a boyfriend at the time, okay? He was at work. And me and this girlfriend went and hung out with a, another male friend of hers. That she was actually cheating on her <laughs> current boyfriend with. And I didn't know it at the time. So, he gets this Mountain Dew bottle, burns a hole into the side of it, then takes, like, this, like, ratchet, not ratchet, uh, like a lug nut or something, and puts it down in there, puts the weed in there, and that's what we smoked out of. On the way home, a different story was, I, I think I was hallucinating a little bit because everything was upside down, and I was panicking, and it felt like... It felt like it was upside down and mirrored. So, finally got to my ex-girlfriend's house and crashed. So, I think that was literally laced with something. Because after that, that never happened again. But that was a really terrible first experience. For sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm just... Bring the chat. I would love to go to New England and do ghost hunting. I would. I do some ghost hunting because it's not real, so I just have fun, like chilling out. You know. I don't believe in ghosts. Uh, they asked Amber, "Can you see my super chats, though?" Yeah, yeah, I see that. Jokes aside, Becky, I wish you didn't have such low self-esteem because you really are daddy. Yeah, I answered that one. Becky, you're the love of my life. Do you want any more tattoos? I absolutely want a ton of tattoos. And... Me too. I feel really, you know, my whole life growing up, 
my parents were always like, don't get tattoos. It's wrong. It's, you're altering your temple. Okay, well, then oh. what is ear piercings and nose piercings, yeah, makeup, jewelry, mm -hmm. hair cutting. You know, you're decorating your Awkward. temple. So what is a tattoo going to hurt? Wrong. So. Would um, either of y'all be with people with kids? I love kids. So, yeah, probably. Oh, that's a hard one for I'm me. I'm really good with kids. Amber, why do you constantly rub not believing in ghosts in Becky's face just to make her mad like you do it on purpose at this point? Listen. Because it's a hoot and berry. It's not like mean or vicious. It's wifey, hilarious. Wifey and her had this conversation today, didn't you? Mm hmm. We did. Wifey believes in ghosts too. So me and we wifey did. are going to go believe in ghosts together. Yeah, but she doesn't want to be around a ghost. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I got 800 fans on a different platform kind of overnight. How do you deal with the hate and not take it to heart? I'm numb to it. I've discovered. And the fact that I have to be numb to someone telling me to kill myself is um, very interesting in my opinion. Maybe I should see a therapist. <laughs> you know dreads should only be worn by people of color. Yes. Yes. Uh, I do agree. We didn't say that they shouldn't be, though. Hoot and berry. Uh, I do not have high pain tolerance. I am such a wuss whenever it comes to pain. Like, literally, just now, I accidentally bent my toe a little too further. You bent back, your toe? Bent. Oh. And it hurt really bad. But... Yeah, getting a tattoo hurts really bad. So, okay. I literally have to sit there and think of anything else. So, dead ass, before the year is up, I'm getting this side of my nose pierced. I'm going to have me a little little diamond. Just a little tiny one. And I'm going to get a tattoo. Hands down, I'm doing it. I have to. Because you only live once. I'm fucking 30 years old. I'm an actual grandma at this point. And... It's time. It's time. It's time. So, oh, I need to charge this phone. Hold on. Oop. So, Ooh. I was having fun. That's that. Someone said, no, you won't. I swear to you, I'm going to, and I'm about to, I'm going to make you guys be like, damn, look at her following through. <laughs> if they made love. weed legal, would you smoke? Fuck yes, I would. Yes. Yes, I would. Absolutely. <sighs> we were smoking Delta 8. Well, I was anyway. Yes. Until they took that um, away. I was smoking Delta 8 as well. And I had no anxiety. Like, I don't think I've ever had a day where I didn't have anxiety. Like, I had a panic attack yesterday, actually. <gasps> Becky was an angel oh look at you she was so, oh my god it was so amazing i thought i thought somebody had died literally you came in wait there stop crying. okay whatever Girl. i was freaking out about something it's personal whatever um yeah i had a straight up panic attack and becky literally helped me so much it was like wow without that i probably would have died Yes, Stella. I would date a girl with sleeves on both arms. Oh, that's fire. I would date a girl covered in tattoos. I love tattoos. They're so hot. I see you too. Yeah, tattoos make me... Just... They make me... <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did. I don't get it. You know what you did. Did I do something? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you use in your hair? It looks so pretty. Thank you. I literally just use shampoo. I do not use conditioner. Although I did buy conditioner yesterday, I'm thinking about maybe starting to use it again just on the ends. I mean, ugh, they're kind of like whatevers. But um, I... Um, hey, before we do get off here, can we like do one 
Mad Lib at least. Yeah, sure. You you guys want Mad Libs? Let's do Mad Libs. Wait, there's still so many questions. Okay, keep going. I'm gonna find the one. Um, what tattoos do you want, Amber? So I don't know if I should keep that a secret and like do a whole vlog moment, like a reveal. But there are three tattoos that I currently have in mind, possibly four, because there's one that I saw. It wasn't even a tattoo, actually. It was a picture that I saw years ago, <laughs> I think on Tumblr. And I said, I want that as a tattoo and I can't figure out why, but like, I just need it. And the tattoo makes absolutely no sense. It just doesn't. But I was like, I want that on my body. Oh, and there's a quote that I want. My most favorite quote in the whole world. Oh, that might actually be my second tattoo. Because I know for sure my first one. Where would you put it? Okay, so I'm getting my first one. <clears throat> I know. The quote. Uh, that's a good point. Maybe like. <clears throat> like yonder. Yonder. I want it to all be a surprise. So I could do like a whole like tattoo reveal. <laughs> You know, that's mm. stupid, but it sounds fun, too. Just saying. Um, all right. Becky wants to do... Um, what's it called? Mad Lib. Do a short one. My attention span is, like, non-existent. Hey, no, we do in this one. I can't even that watch a pretty, movie, right? That is pretty short, so... <gasps> oh, my God. There's a movie I want to see. Well... It's called Old... My friend and her boyfriend like to watch movies, and they said they would watch movies with me. So Can we watch fun. Old illegally on the thing? We can pay for it. Come on. Oh, was I not supposed to say that? Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. I want Wifey to watch A Simple Favor. Right there is the poster. Look at that right there. That's my babies. Oh, my God. Someone said ALR Cheesin' F or Feudy Beauty. Beezin. Oh, Beezin. Because you know how she says, oh my God, that is the best thing. You deserve an award for saying that. Like, that is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Hands down. Birdie's back. <gasps> this dress has pockets. Don't be mad about it. Don't be mad about it. I love this dress. This is one of my most favorite ones, I think. I don't know what that was. Please don't ask what that was. I don't know. Half the time. Are you still reading the chat? Yeah. Love that. Okay, let's see. Becky, show us your shirt, please. Oh, okay. If you're going to see the front, then you need to see the back. Oh, dang, she getting up with this. Here's, oh, jeez, this one. Hi, baby girl. And then here's the back. Amberlynn, let me know if they can see it. Do you need help? Hold on. Oh, we got some booty here. Oh, sorry. Um, this blood's for you. No hope, no fear. So that's on that. That is on that. Oh, Rarito Gray. I don't want your tail in my face. That tail is lethal. A lot of people think you look nice today. Thank you. They're trying to get it. They're trying to get like that. I feel like my face is a little red and I really need a haircut, but I don't think I want to go short, short. I think I want to have a trim and just have shaggy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I wish I had a skinnier face. It would look better. If I had a skinnier face, I could probably pull off Can other things. Um, I get that. <laughs> is this yours? Is that you? Oh, rarity. So, yeah. It's been great. Life's been great. What about you? Yeah. You think life's been good? It's been very busy. Very hectic. Very overwhelming. Good but good other than that, yeah. I've been having some good times good in the midst of all that, too. Yeah. I agree. For sure. Is this for the live stream ends yeah i could i feel like i got some stuff to do always do so thank you everyone for joining and sending super chats and for just being here and being members being part of this 
I had fun. I don't know. I hope you guys had fun. I'm just sitting here thinking, like, should I continue doing live streams? Like, are they boring? No. Let me see something. I want to see how many views. If you Hold on. quit doing live streams, I'm not going to talk to you. Oh, that's what you said when you said if you start dating someone, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. You're not dating someone. <sighs> no, I'm not. You like someone. Yeah, a lot. A lot, a lot, but a I lot. But I mean, you know, honestly, if y'all date, it's none of my business, so. We won't. Okay, I'm getting pretty good views on my live streams, but it's just like, oh, wow, the four-hour live stream got, like, the most views. Should Obviously. I do that again? Should I do that again? No. No, we totally should, but I feel like we should have, like, a, like, a, what is it called? Halftime. You Where know, it's just, like, blank? We'll have you 2 and Coldplay and all, you know, we'll invite Janet Jackson and Justin to, no, never mind, that's better. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're so No, weird. you know what? I'm going to have Janet Jackson. I don't care what the Super Bowl says. Anyways... Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go. Um, it's been fun. It's been real. I'm and gonna, it's been real fun. Yeah. I need to eat something because I am feeling kind of hungry. Oh yeah. Listen, I was so busy earlier. Those little red Baron deep dish dish pizzas. I wanted to have one of those for lunch. They're like that big. Okay. I was excited for this thing. Popped it in the oven. Even took it out of the oven and i'm like i'm gonna let this thing cool three hours later i get up from my spot on my chair because i've been doing art all day and uh lo and behold a pizza sitting on the on the oven and it's ice cold that's a hoot and berry. it wasn't very good it wasn't no why didn't you put it back in the oven it was done it wasn't burnt you still could have, like, warmed it, it up. It was on the precipice of being ruined. Ruined. Precipice? Okay. It was on the precipice of being ruined. Precipice. Precipice. Are you sure that's a word? Yeah. My vocabulary is not that large. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay. It's been fun. It's been great. Um, thank you guys for joining. Bye, guys. We're going to go now. Hey.